Last week, we had two sightings, one in Idaho Falls by the Civic Center, Frontier Center, whatever. It was, someone saw a deer, and they actually posted on one of the pages, hey, has anybody lost a pet deer? And people, the <laughs> the largest reaction was the laughing reaction because- <laughs> Oh, honey. <laughs> oh, my sweet pet? summer child. Yeah, this is this is what happens. When the <laughs> snow falls on the mountains, the animals come out of the mountains and the hills and into town. And I guess just also last week, like on Friday, there was a cougar sighting, a mountain lion sighting. The one in Oregon? Uh, no, here in Iona. Really? Or okay. Here, here in Near town in Iona. <laughs> I heard about one in Oregon or Washington. I'm not sure which. Okay. Where it turned out to just be a really fat cat. <laughs> <laughs> which is so cute. <laughs> Can you imagine? You <laughs> just, you're running away from Garfield. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's just a fat boy. <laughs> it's just a chonker. <laughs> it's a chunky boy. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. So cougar in town. Yeah, well, I guess toward Highway 26 and Iona. That sounds right. Yeah, but yeah. that happens. Mm -hmm. That sometimes happens. That's what you get for living in the mountains, folks. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. And that's why you're the worst person ever if you have indoor outdoor cats. I'm kidding, but kind of not, but kind I mean, of. maybe keep your cats But if you inside. care about them. Well, and you know that they have a huge uh, impact on the environment, too. The cougars or the mountain lions or the, the cats, fat cats? Normal domesticated cats. They do? Normal chonkers. Yeah, they... They have led to the extinction of so many species of birds. Because first off, they're an invasive species. They were never meant to exist here. Cats? Yes. Yes. But the Europeans brought them over because they were like, oh, little cuddly buddies. They're going to be on our ships and eat all of our rats and it'll be great. And they brought <laughs> them over here and made them pets and then let them outside. And they killed so many birds and lizards and rodents and just completely eviscerated entire species. I don't mean to sound like a warrior capitalist or anything, but if something gets, if, if something is made extinct by the common house cat, maybe it deserved to become uh, extinct. Those little those little babies are kind of ferocious. I, uh, I've got a scar from a common house cat. Realistically. Oh, yeah. I've got a few. Realistically. If a cat wanted to kill you and was like hell bent <laughs> determined to, it probably could. Well, they've made a movie about sloths going on killing sprees. Maybe they need to do one yeah. about kitties. <laughs> yeah. Point is, or house one, cat killer. What? Like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll just throw some titles out there. It'll be great. Yeah. Catacombs. Catacombs. Cat yeah. <laughs> Catastrophe. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Cat slasher. Okay, wait. Cat what if it's called Catacombs and it takes place in the catacombs, but it's a cat killing people in the catacombs? Yeah. There we it's go. It's pretty efficient. Yeah. You know, you kill them right there and then you, yeah. you can store their I bodies mean, really, right you there. You just got to kick them a foot to the side. Yeah. That's, what That's I probably what the cat does. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what I didn't get about Slother House. Where'd the bodies go? Yeah. Like, it was always in common rooms and stuff. There was a lot of plausible no, deniability. No one found a body the entire time. The house was not that big. A lot of suspension of disbelief yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. Sorry. The oldest, the oldest, uh, one of the oldest breeds of Egyptian cats is called the Egyptian Mau. Yes. M-A-U. And I just thought it was funny that the Egyptians, this highly advanced culture at one point, called the thing by the sound it made. Yeah. What's that? Meow. <laughs> it's a meow. 